EMTs are known for helping people in some quite difficult circumstances. Well, they have found a way to do that through toys and pure generosity. Take a look. Yeah, more toys. Yeah. More toys. So many toys under the Eyewitness News Christmas tree at our East Providence studios, but they are not for us. By way of WPRI 12 and Fox Providence's annual Toys for Tots drive, these gifts are headed to 40,000 area kids. Just look at the before and after. This space transformed Saturday night, all thanks to our friends at Alert Ambulance Service out of Fall River, a convoy of rescue vehicles pulling onto Catamore Boulevard. EMTs would normally have a patient on this gurney. Like that, it becomes a toy transporter. Alert's workforce really coming through after a month-long collection. You could either donate $10 or bring a toy in, and this is all solely from employees. This is just straight out of employees' pockets. It was just so great to be able to do this time of year and help out so many kids and families that just don't have these sort of things. Even the children of Alert EMTs tagged along for this joyful Saturday night call, donning their fringed hats, thankful for their blessings, helping families they will never meet. We're the Santas we always wanted to be. We're the kid Santas, you could say. U.S. Marines who picked up the first batch of toys from our studios earlier in the week say 80,000 have already come into Toys for Tots. Organizers hope to add another 20,000 toys to that by Christmas morning. First responders work day and night helping all of us. They don't look for a pat on the back. We'll give them this one. Good work. High five. High five. Yeah. Thank you to our friends at Alert, bringing a lot of joy not only to us tonight, but to so many kids once those toys get shipped out. There's still time to donate to our Toys for Tots Drive. December the 22nd, the final day, that's a Tuesday. All you have to do is bring a new unwrapped toy right here, 25 Catamore Boulevard in East Providence.